Just checking. Hi, my name is David O'Dell. I'm a physics and robotics teacher here at Anderson High School located in Austin, Texas. Uh, this semester is the fall of 2010. Um, we just finished our mousetrap car, um, I guess, challenge. And uh, we use mousetrap cars to investigate forces and uh, Newton's laws um, and acceleration and velocity. So it's kind of a combination of several topics. Uh, this year, we um, challenge was to build the mousetrap car that could go the fastest or the longest distance. Um, the students were all given one identical mousetrap, uh, mousetrap and uh, they had to come up with the rest of the materials and the creativity to make their car. So we had groups of um, anywhere from solo groups of one person, two pairs, threes, and up to four people uh, in a group. So uh, I wanted to take a moment to introduce to you some of our really cool creations uh, from the students and uh, kind of possibly introduce you to some records that we broke, definitely for our school. And uh, I'm not sure what the national records are, but I think we might have a competitor. Anyhow, let me show you what we got. We've got the pink mobile, <coughs> kind of a standard mousetrap car with CD wheels and uh, dowel rods for um, uh, axles and a cork as a sort of a hub. Um, we've got sort of a triangular wood car here with CDs, and they use rubber bands for some traction on their wheels. Uh, here we've got another very simple mousetrap car design, this time with some electrical tape as to add some traction to the wheels. This one was wonderfully creative. This one uh, actually went 27 feet. This was made out of bamboo uh, pieces that were lacquered uh, ahead of time. And they had a scratch and sniff stickers all over it. So uh, their car definitely got the best smelling vehicle. Uh, here we have a very simple, very lightweight um, dowel uh, mousetrap car with straws as axle holders. And uh, again, we've got some, uh, I guess, blue sort of maybe painter tape on here for traction. And a very small, uh, made out of popsicle sticks, a frame, and a very long uh, fishing rod there. Uh, this was um, made out of a plastic, looks like a, a, um, a microwave safe container and some cardboard. Uh, we've got here a mousetrap car with a pencil theme. This was their original base. wasn't quite big enough, so they added, they put this on a piece of wood here. We cut out a spot for the, uh, the um, string to go to the axle. So again, here's another car with some pencils. These were all hot glued together. Uh, this was a piece of wood that we chopped up, a uh, piece of scrap wood. And this is a better version of, say, a, a, another triangular frame. Uh, uh, nice wheels, looked good. Uh, 